Hey, hey, welcome in everybody. My name is Laura from Tenacious Taurus Tarot and I decided to talk about the astrology for August. I feel August is a big month for the collective. I think this is a huge uh, year for the Twin Flame Collective, especially we've got some pretty potent transits playing through in August that I wanted to talk about, especially when it comes to Jupiter square Saturn. And so this is huge. This energy is massive when it comes to, I feel, closing out a 10-year cycle. And so Jupiter square Saturn is important, right? And so it involves two of the, the major outer planets and it's in a clash, it's in a square. And so this is like a major focus on changes, creating uh creating changes and so the theme really is about challenging energies we're going to be facing a lot of challenges we have lion's gate we have the 888 portal we've we've got uh the full moon in aquarius at the end of the month and so this is the energy i feel giving way for all of us to be able to make those uh massive meaningful improvements in our lives so let's get into it guys hit that subscribe button don't forget to like the video share the video and comment on the video it does help to circulate the content it's just a nice easy way to show me some love and show me some support and so we are in uh, this energy of facing a crisis and needing to take action whatever that might be and so whatever that holds meaning for towards your own journey but we are in a massive portal of initiations I feel of awakenings so you might be being tested when it comes to your current reality what makes sense what doesn't make sense what should you keep doing and what do you need to reconsider or change and so I can see it when I scroll social media people out there are struggling and uh, this can bring forth all kinds of possibilities but it's also going to bring forth all kinds of challenges so how can you take a step back right? We are in Leo season. How can you take a step back and observe how the world validates you, right? Or maybe it doesn't validate you. What do you do? What are you supposed to be doing with your life? And so if you keep putting in efforts towards something and you feel like it's yielding no results, and I've been met with this observation recently, maybe it's time to change your strategy. And that's exactly what I've been working on behind the scenes for my own personal path and journey. And so maybe uh, there might be an opportunity that keeps presenting itself and you keep saying no, well, now would be the time to embrace it. So we've got some big energies with Venus as well and Virgo playing out because mid-month there's going to be a T-square uh, with Saturn and Pisces and uh, with Jupiter and Mars and Gemini. So this is all about a massive change of heart. If you're somewhere you don't want to be, then this is the perfect opportunity to create those changes. It's like the perfect cosmic storm. And so T-squares uh, are a little bit less dramatic in mutable signs because mutable signs are okay with changing and being flexible, right? Mutable signs are inherently flexible and so venus is the catalyst when it comes to these energies it's the catalyst of energy it's suggesting you know our heart's desires will eventually create uh, the drive that we need to create this much needed change and so venus and virgo venus and virgo is kind of like uh, the cinderella story right uh, she's modest and i do feel with with uh, venus and virgo this is where we're going to ask ourselves these critical questions. If what I'm doing in my life, is is it making sense? Does it make sense? Is this really what I want? Is it really what I want? If it isn't what I want, then Virgo and Venus will give you the, men, the, the mental capacity to stop hesitating when it comes to moving on. And Venus later in the month is going to be forming a grand trine with Uranus and Pluto. So get ready to commit to change, whether it's a physical change or an emotional change or a spiritual change. Get ready to commit to change because when you commit to jumping timelines into that new path, change can happen in an instant. So something good can really happen straight away when you choose to shift that frequency, turn the dial, get on a different timeline. And so get ready to achieve some quick wins later this month, especially for those with major Virgo placements. On August the 4th, we do have the new moon in Leo. That's coming up this weekend. I'm excited about that. It's going to be at 12 degrees. And so this is bringing in a complete shift in perspective, a shift in consciousness. It's forming auspicious aspects with Mars and Jupiter and Gemini. And so this has an encouraging vibe coming forward. It's encouraging us to collaborate, to connect, and to, to embrace 
our mission work, right? It's all about communication with Gemini fueling this Leo energy, right? It's very versatile energy. And so this is really a great new moon to plant a seed for creativity. Where do you have Leo in your chart? August 5th, Mercury is going to be stationing retrograde and it's going to go retrograde at four degrees. And so it's that time of year again, right? And we all fear the Mercury retrograde, but really this is a huge learning portal. This retrograde is going to allow us to integrate the lessons and the experiences that we've thoroughly been examining throughout the last, I feel, five to 10 years. And this is going to allow us to just find our way back to self. Virgo represents the hermit. This is a major portal of re-identification of self, maybe reorienting your entire path, your entire purpose. And so uh, it's, it's about going back to maybe what you missed the first time around. And so retrogrades are always about going back. You might want to have to slow down a little bit. You might want to just pay attention because you don't want to overlook any possibilities that are coming forward this retrograde as well. And so it does feel like hard work sometimes when Mercury goes retrograde. It's going to depend on the sign it goes retrograde in and the houses that this is affecting you personally with your own natal chart. And so if you would like to book a transit chart reading with me, Go check it out. I still have my sale on, a transit chart sale for $88. It's a steal. It does include a card reading. And so uh, this is the perfect opportunity to book a transit chart to gain that insight into your own personal journey so you can make those adjustments to move forward. I would love to help you move forward. And so get ready to reassess your priorities this retrograde because it's also going to dip back in to Leo. And so this is a battle I feel between the head and the heart as well. We're going to have Venus also entering Virgo on the same day that Mercury goes retrograde in Virgo. And so this is a huge catalytic energy, I feel like I talked about. Virgo is the Cinderella energy of the Zodiac. I'm a Virgo moon. And so Virgo energy is humble. It really is humble. Virgo energy is reliable. And personally, I don't go out of my way to impress people. I could care less. Um, and so, you know, Cinderella does marry the prince despite her modesty and despite, uh, you know, being a housekeeper. And so Venus and Virgo transits are here, I feel, to remind us of insignificant qualities with people, right? Pay attention. Pay attention to who is genuine. Pay attention to the details because Virgo does exude genuine kindness. And so Virgo energy is here, I feel, to make probably the biggest difference in the collective. It is a sign of service. I know for me, acts of service is how I show that I love people. Um, on August the 7th, Mercury is going to be conjunct Venus. So Mercury retrograde conjunct Venus and Virgo at three degrees. This is the Empress energy coming through. Very strong Empress energy when it came to the thoughts and the feelings that I was channeling and embodying with these aspects. And so sometimes we do struggle to harmonize our thoughts and our emotions. And that's usually because we don't have uh, a Mercury um Venus conjunction in our birth chart. And if you do, you're probably very lucky. It's very rare. Uh, but so right now we're learning to balance our emotions, our values, and our preferences. And so usually we have a hard time getting our brain aligned with our heart and on the same page. And so it's actually really challenging, right? Because the ego seeks to divide and the heart is all about compassion and unconditional love. And so with these two planets coming into uh, a beautiful alignment, a conjunction is very harmonious. I feel this is bringing forward a very unique opportunity uh, for the collective to create that balance. It might be easier to even speak and translate your desires um, into words, right? And get them out of your head and into words and you can be coherent with the actions that you take. And so there's a beautiful agreement or alignment taking place with that aspect. And then on the 14th of August, we're going to have mars conjunct jupiter and so this is like a powerhouse of energy we got mars in gemini conjunct jupiter um in gemini at 16 degrees this is a tower so this is a tower towers should not be feared towers come to bring forward a shift a tower is a breakdown of anything false a tower comes in to upheave a status quo or to upheave a false upheave 
a false foundation. So anything that was built on false pretenses, any foundation that is shaky, that isn't strong, that wasn't built on truth and authenticity, get ready for that to get rocked to the core. But this energy is going to create the maximization of this surge so we can close out cycles that need to be closed out. And so if we can channel this energy effectively, then you can align with your highest goals and aspirations. Even if something isn't working out in your favor, this energy is here to inspire you to face the challenges, to take the action, and to get back into alignment with your truth, your authentic path, and your mission work. And so if you've been struggling to take action, this is a sign to dive a little bit deeper to understand your own personal motivations. Why are you staying stuck? If you know that you want something, but you're not acting on what it is that you want, red flag, that's a huge freaking red flag. And so how can you really align with your core values with this transit? That tower is going to come in and get you back on track, whether you're ready to make a choice or not. And so um, get ready to shift your mindset as well. Shift your mindset. Focus on the positive. Cultivate gratitude. Have gratitude for the path. Realign with your purpose, realign with your actions and your thoughts. And so we are all here to make a significant difference and real change doesn't happen until we make that change on the inside. That's interesting. I did notice 1122 on the clock when I looked up. And so this is a shift in, in mindset, right? Because the conjunction occurs in Gemini. Gemini is an air sign. Gemini is ruled by Mercury, the messenger of God. And so somebody here has a message to put out there. And this is the perfect opportunity to embrace a co-creative journey with these universal forces, to rewrite your thoughts, to rewrite the patterns, and to rewrite your destiny so you can move forward with purpose and clarity. On August the 19th, we're going to have that Jupiter square Saturn that I talked about when I opened up the message today. And so we are closing out, I feel, a major 10-year cycle. This is going to happen at 17 degrees, the star healing. It is the water bearer cycle that we are going into as we fully embody the age of Aquarius. And this is all about humanitarian efforts, humanitarian developments. And so what does this mean for you? It's going to depend on how this will play out in your houses within your own birth chart. So if you're being triggered left, right, and center... This is the perfect opportune time, to book, opportune time to book in a session with me. So consider your beliefs. This is a bit about understanding your core beliefs and ridding yourself of everything that is a block to how it is you want to live your life day to day moving forward. And so the spiritual awakening journey really isn't about... Um, stepping into who you truly are, it really is just about shedding all of these layers that are masks uh, that you use to hide who you truly are. And so this energy is suggesting bridging the gap between what you believe is possible and what can realistically be achieved, right? And so we all have big dreams and, and sometimes these dreams are too small and sometimes they're too big. So you really got to understand if you dream so big that it can't be made manifest then you're going to fall short uh, when it comes to your goals and your potential and you're likely going to nosedive um if you if you don't dream big enough then you're going to be struggling too right so how can you create that balance i just feel these energies this month are bringing in a massive reality check it's a massive reality check to help us identify with what is truly important to us what is truly important to you and what do you need to do to bridge the gap between your ideals of what it is that you want for your life and your current situation and so clarity allows us to take those steps forward right and it is all about one step at a time like that virgo energy that knight of pentacles energy and so this really is a month of opportunities to adjust our plans to take action towards what it is we really want but we might have to face something straightforward when it comes to what we don't want. And so get ready to listen. Listen intently because the universe is going to be speaking directly to you. And it's going to tell you what, it, what exactly it is that you need to do to level up. We do have the full moon in Aquarius and this is at 27 degrees. This is it, guys. This is the Ace of Wands. This is the holy, holy experience of going forward into a new creative cycle. This full moon is going to be opposite Mercury in Leo. 
and it's going to form a very tight square uh, to Uranus at 27 degrees in Taurus. And so super intense full moon. Look at where this full moon is hitting you in, in your birth chart. So for me, I have my south node in Aquarius at 26 degrees. This full moon is going to be exact, almost exact conjunct my south node. And so this for me, I feel is a huge release of the past. I also have my south node that sits in my 12th house of Aquarius. And so get ready for a major shakeup. It might feel like something is being shaken to the core and destabilizing, but this is the energy that's going to allow us to reconnect with our authentic self. Isn't that a beautiful thing, right? And so uh, Uranus and Taurus is asking you, is this the real you? Is this who you really are? Is this what you truly want for your life? And if it's not, then it's time to get back to basics. I've already been doing that work. And so the Mercury retrograde in Leo, when it comes to that opposition, is asking us to re-identify and rediscover ourselves. What is your true essence? What is your true inner creative potential? What makes you unique? Aquarian energy is all about embracing the uniqueness of who you are. And so start from there. Who are you? When you strip away everything else that isn't you, who are you? And so this could be a complete realignment, readjustment, readjustment or re-engineering of your entire life. So allow the full moon to bring in that extra oomph that you need uh, to uh, embrace this life-altering month. It is a life-altering month. All of these combinations of transits playing out this month is what we've long awaited for, especially those that have been on the path for years, waiting, waiting, waiting. The energy is here, the energy is built, and the energy is about to blow when it comes to this systematic change within the collective. And so ultimately, these energies this month are going to propel us forward. We're going to have the sun entering Virgo on August 22nd. So happy birthday to all of my Virgos out there. Virgo season basically is saying, hey, let's get back down to earth. It's time to come back down to earth and it's time to anchor in to reality, right? And so earthly mutable energy of Virgo. I love me some Virgo energy. It really is uh, a very productive sign. It's a focusing sign and we do focus on what matters to get things done. Trust me, I'm a, I'm a Virgo moon at 22 degrees and so... Uh, I'm looking forward to Virgo season. And then I think we're going to start to be going into the eclipses with the Virgo Pisces in the fall. So August 29th, we do have Mercury going direct at 21 degrees. And so this is where we have finally learned that long awaited lesson. 21 degrees, that's the world. And so this is really good news. What have you learned? What have you learned <laughs> from the last uh, retrograde period, right? What have you learned this retrograde period? Because it's time to resume Whatever plans you, whatever seeds you have planted, it's time to start new. It's time to start afresh in a new cycle. Also on the 29th, we do have Venus entering into Libra, which is in its own sign. And so this is going to be a beautiful energy. Whatever you're going through, however dark and deep these energies are, there's going to be light at the end of the tunnel because we're going to close off August on a high note on a high note with Venus entering into her home sign. And I'm looking forward to that because Venus in her home sign is going to be conjunct my, my Lilith and Libra. And I'm just so excited when Venus moves into Libra, she's going to immediately form a trine with Pluto in Aquarius at zero degrees, which is also retrograde. It's going to create like a kite like pattern uh, when it comes to the wheel, when it comes to the chart with Pluto, Uranus, and Neptune. And so this is really where we recognize and we embrace our deepest desires. And the energies are going to help us manifest that when it comes to our greatest dreams. So get ready for a major shift this month. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Get excited. If you would like to book in with me for a personal reading, check out the description box below. Also, there is a membership side to the channel if you would like to become a channel member. And if you would like to grow and learn, come join us on the other side. I'd love for you to be over there with us and get access to all of the perks over there. So have a great month ahead everybody. I hope you subscribed and I hope to see you all again next time. Thank you.